Game two, three for the Royals, Tigers and Royals from Comerica Park. Beautiful day. Look at this day. 14 and 6 against 8 and 12. Trying to. To Steph wants Sean Hicks. <laughs> I thought you weren't participating in Pick the Stick. That's actually not a bad pick. I've uh, I've uh, had a little bit of luck with Hicks so far this year. John Hicks, the pick for Steph, her third pick ever. Buck Farmer will get the start today. Uh, two and zero. Oh, he's had a great year out of the bullpen, but hasn't gotten a start yet. But we'll see how he does today. Matt Boyd injured in warmups. Whit Merrifield leads off, and I haven't played MLB uh, in a couple days, so this should be fun. Great start. Time up the pitch. Almost perfect. Misses by a mile. All right. There we go. Love you guys, so I'll do it. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Uh, dead ball over the follow. Thank you for the early... Uh, it's not an early stream follow, but it is an early MLB follow. And then what else is going on? That's a butt foul. And then Austin with that four-viewer host. Thank you, man. Thank you for uh, Vigi Games tonight. See you, Thieves, on Thursday. Podcast on Thursday. Lots of stuff coming up with Austin in the next couple days. Two and two count on Whit Merrifield. Change up in. Oh, I didn't mean to dive. I truly didn't mean to dive. But what an awful dive, even regardless. Oh, my. Not a great start. All right, so leadoff man on for the Royals. Paulo Orlando follows up. Hopefully Buck Farmer can get it done. Oh, God damn it, move. Right over his head, and he can not. I mean, jump, please. First two on for the Royals. They're swinging early and often on Buck Farmer. Fouled off by Mustakas. This the bat we'll have to watch out on. Awful pitch right there, but it's, it's going to get the run in, but it should be a double play. On the first, it does. That is okay. Literally just subbed because of the love shown uh, towards Farquhar in your hat, bro. I'm a White Sox fan, and for the Tigers, uh, to show respect like that, that's what's up, uh, bro. Much respect. Always, man. A uh, baseball fans got to stick together, and fans, players, everything. And uh, you know what happened to him is uh, it's really unfortunate. You know, it's you know, like when when stuff like uh, like what happened to Danny happens, you know, it's uh, um, you know, it's it's not about what team they're on, man. It's just uh, the community you're in, and you know, everyone everyone at, at that moment in time's uh, on the same team. I guess that's just my way of putting it. Okay. Remember that pickle video I showed you? No, I don't think I ever watched that one, Squid. Buck Farmer will surrender a run of the first inning, but otherwise has pitched pretty damn well. Forced into duty after a <laughs> warm-up injury to Buck Farmer.
Danny Duffy gets a start for the Royals. High ERA for Danny Duffy. That's a little bit bizarre. I feel like he's a little bit better than that. Hopefully today is not the day he starts to show that. Ex-girlfriend problem, Squid. Welcome to uh, welcome to my world. Leonis Martino lead off. He uh, he did pick it up. Remember, he hit the grand slam, I believe, in game one of this series. Look at my whispers. All in there. First pitch to Martin. Change up the drops into a strike or in for a strike. No, I did not see this pickle video. Whatever, uh, whatever y'all are uh, talking about. One on Martin. He had a three-run home run in game one. Again, if I remember correctly, it's been a couple days away from MLB, which uh, will not happen often. Just my work schedule has been a little bit hectic, and the guys have wanted to play games lately. So, ah, good pitch. Everything away right now to Leonis. See if he tries to go. I'm thinking. You know what? I'm gonna keep calling the slider inside or the fastball inside. It's in the zone. Had to. Leonis Martino ground out to first base. Lucas Duda will tag the bag. All right. What is up with this pickle video? All right. Hold on. Let's pause the game. Apparently, this is important. I hate pickles, so I'm going to hate this. What is it? What are we got? What is going on? Um, here we go. Right there. Oh, 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 oh there it is. The 2018 Ford F-150 is better when it matters the most. Best. With its best. All right. What is this? Score to the first, and an RBI in the fifth. Headley trying to take advantage of the runner back at third. Look at the ball just dancing along the chalk line, and it will stay. <laughs> it could go foul, or if it stays true, great look on Yesmo. It stays right on the chalk. It looked like there might have been a time when it was going to go foul. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Foul right there. Three times. Yeah. You wonder what Boat's waiting for. <laughs> the last. Uh, how long is this video? Line, stay fair. It stay fair. It is this is literally it? it? What is it, Mr. Umpire? Foul ball. There's a base hit. Down the right field line. That's a fair ball. Belt is going to score. Duffy with a double. Take a look. That's a foul ball. No, it looks like it may have caught the corner. All I have to do is chuck, touch that chalk line. Yeah, it's probably fair. Yeah, I don't think they're going to review. Five degree launch. 131 hmm. foot high. That is a fair ball right on the chalk line, and Polanco will score. All right, <coughs> we got the uh, we got the deal. Um, boom. People do eating ASMR video. What? I don't know. Anyway, baseball. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Down low. What's up, Squid? We'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. In MLB, the show, all those would be foul balls. To be fair. A swing and a miss that what? What? Did we just have that happen again? That's not a strike, bro. God damn, I hate this game sometimes. Fouled off. One and two on Jamer. The pickle. I, I didn't see a pickle video. That was the most recent link I saw from you. All right, I'll have to, uh, I'll uh, take a look at it in the next half inning. I don't like to eat on stream, man. Makes me feel weird. 
I don't have a, a non-face cam scene at the moment, so I probably should, but, you know. I fouled off. I did. Ooh. Oh my god, why did I foul that ball off? Jesus Christ, it looked like I was timed up beautifully. Rip third base side caught by Mustakis. Of course it is. Oh, that ball was ripped down the line. Just, just, just not high enough. Well, two outs for Miguel. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ooh, okay. A little bit of a break. Ball up and in. Doesn't get called a strike. One of the rare calls that will go our way today, more than likely. By the way, well, let's uh, let's wait one more pitch. Then we'll do an umpire check. Off the plate, 2-0. Oh. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Doesn't look like anybody we know. It is number 77, who I know we've had trouble with before. Maybe we'll just have to watch a small zone the whole day. Ah, a little bit low. It was in our zone and just broke low. Good pitch. Two and one. Shouldn't have been speaking of that two one. I took a break to check the umpires. Kind of got me out of where my count, where the count was, in my head. So we'll just have to erase that one out of our mind. Three and one now. And Miguel has not thrown us. Well, <laughs> other than that one up and in, has not thrown us a genuine strike. Let's see if he throws one here. Rip to left field. Base hit. A single for Miguel Cabrera with two outs in this first inning. How about a 16-pitch inning, though? Straight up, I'm impressed with ourselves. Just a 16-pitch inning. Yes. Here's Nick Castellanos. GG. No GGs yet. Inside, changeup misses badly. Out of the hand of Danny Duffy. Hey, at least it's not Ian Kennedy. Ian Kennedy and his Vulcan change. I hate that pitch. Ripped down the third base line, and the second line drive out right to Mike Moustakis in the first inning. We'll get him. We'll get him. We hit the ball really well that inning. Salvador Perez will lead off the second against Buck Farmer. But first, apparently there's a pickle video. This is the pickle one. Check this play out. Okay. Oh, this is only 20 second, 26 second video. This is much better. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right. Here we go. Check this play out. Kaylin Adams goes back to the mound. This? Carly Hoover's got it. She comes home. So now Kat Moore's caught in a rundown. She's going to get back to third safely. Sarai New was on third. She hey, wait a minute. Didn't I take a look out. at this? She's Didn't in a I rundown. see this? Or as Neil calls it, a pickle, lickle, lickle. So she gets I've to seen third, this. But then, but then Moore starts home in another rundown. She gets back to third. Everyone makes it safe, correct? Back second, yeah. And she's back safely. So all that and everybody's safe. Yeah. I believe I've seen that. Whether it was, uh, whether it was, whether it was through you or somebody else, I don't know. So Salvador Perez leads off. Second inning, twenty or nineteen pitches from Buck Farmer in the first. Was it you? I feel like we showed that on stream already once. Oh, that's that's hit hard. Leonis Martin covers some ground. 
Not going to happen. It's going to get down. Down for Salvador Perez. Leonis Martin is absolutely loafing on that, but it is still a double. Lead-off double in the second for Salvador Perez and the Royals. That is their 40th of the season. Not good on that one. Not. No bueno. That ball was just hit perfectly in the gap. Neither Nick or Leonis could run that down. Now it's Soler. Well, we will be uh, we will be really really fortunate if uh, Buck is able to go any distance in this game. Matt Boyd out an injury and warmups to right. They may tag the runner. Salvador tag it up. Machado with an awful throw, an awful relay, and Salvador Perez stands on third base. With only one away, here's Jorge Bonifacio, who is cold in his last four games and cold on the season, a 120 average. That's actually higher than his season average. Oh, my God, I missed. I missed by, like, two, two fractions of a second. God damn. Broke the scratchers in the stream. I'm confused. In there for a strike. Two and one on Jorge Bonifacio. On the ground. It's going to score the run. Again, we'll just be happy to see that as we get the out. I ought to edit it so where John Hicks has his secondary position because Lord knows he's probably going to make some errors today. Um, John Hicks' secondary position is first base. He really does play that. Truly. Not just editing rosters to make my team better, but that is a uh, that is 100%. John Hicks plays first. Pulled foul, one and two on Alex Gordon. So Buck Farmer is down two runs, but at the same time, feel like we played relatively well. Out off. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Everything down and away. Or down and in, rather. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a fair ball. Got to be a bloop single for Alex Gordon with two outs. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands in. All right, fair enough. Stay square as long as possible. Just did get down the line to hit the other way. And down the line now, Alcides Escobar. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop. Lays off. <sighs> wow. Average, still south okay. One home run and four RBI. And here's a fastball for a Do it, Squid. He's hitting an even 90 on the gun. A nice adjustment right there. Hardly missed my time. God. I am feeling Buck Farmers overall. Down there in the 60s. I am feeling it today. Two and two, two out, second inning. Oh, and a big strike zone there gets Alcides Escobar. Well, the uh, first two innings could have been a whole lot worse. We are down two nothing after one and a half. Here is John Hicks. 276 average on the year. Has been pretty solid in that backup catcher position. Getting to get a better feel here for uh, Danny Duffy. Feel out what his primary pitch is, where he wants to, uh, where he wants to throw it. Out in front, two seamer. Okay. Ah, all right. So it's clear what we're looking for. Oh, got a piece. 
Way down low. We did get a piece there by John Hicks. Wouldn't be shocked to get a curve here. Off the place, cha off the place. Jesus Christ! Play change up. Away. <laughs> the used one or the barely used one? It's fair. Wasn't behind that much. In fact, we were out in front on it. I want to know how that makes sense. Got a lot of confidence that change. I wouldn't be surprised if he throws it again. Two seam fastball away. What did you what did what you change it to? You must have done that right now because I still saw it as uh, Stephanie's team. Wow. Ah, way out in front on it. He's gonna slow us down with the changeup low here. He went with an elevated changeup. Okay. Good pitch, I guess. But at the same time, we're seeing a lot of pitches out of Danny Duffy here early. Defensive lineup now for the Royals. Here's McCann. I believe that's my pick. My pick today. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Change up in for a strike. 286 average entering play. See, that's what I need. I need an external hard drive. All right, so he really loves his changeup. Really, really loves it. And uh, I am. I haven't adjusted to it yet. I knew I was going to see something fast there. Because we just swung through two straight changeups early on him. And he th we would imagine that we're going to go slow. But instead, he's going to speed us up. See? You gotta think deeper. Rocket into center, but should be caught by Orlando. It is second out. Here's Victor Reyes getting the start in left field today over Jacoby Jones. I should uh, review my my Tigers roster just to make sure that we have the current roster. Two seam fastball just fine. The outside edge. By the way, thank you guys for uh, for staying up and 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 being patient with me uh, these last couple of days. We don't always get to uh, we don't always get to game with the boys. So anytime they uh, they want to game back to back days is uh it's a pretty rare occasion so thank you guys for uh for waiting for franchise and MLB and all that here comes the one one there's one well above the zone for a ball bases are empty here with two men out slow me down with that changeup but I'll rip it to left I should get down. Let's say that was coming down really fast. Change me up, dog. Change me up, dog. Squared up, center field. That's going to get down. Base hit. Another. Another two out single for the Tigers. Doesn't do us a lot of good, but at least, at least we know the bats are there. Victor Ray is on base. Digging in the switch hitter, Nico Goodrum. 
ready for his first at bat of his early season. The MLB voice chat. Do I even have an MLB voice chat? For whatever reason, I do. It's not like I play MLB with anybody. We're gonna be doing some uh, some ranked seasons games, by the way, on uh, on my day off, one of my days off this week. Well, on the ground, it's gonna be an out. Well, on to second base, easy. What you should have done, you should have yodeled in uh, in our chat. Would have been like, who the hell got in here? Then it would have been squid, and we would have not even been surprised. Couple of two out mitts. Uh, mitts. Jesus. Hits. Through two innings for us. On the ground, Dixon Machado should be an easy play. On the first, it is. Oh my God! Don't hate your life, please. Am I gonna have to Snapchat you through some, uh, through some uh, trauma here? The Brazilian born Paulo Orlando. Is that how he gets introduced every time? Just like Aaron Judge um, says, uh, or Aaron Judge has Big Aaron Judge stands in. <laughs> Like, yes, I'm sure Aaron Judge always wants to be reminded that he's big, and Paolo Orlando always wants to be reminded that he's Brazilian. Do you want to say something weird? Do it. Fucking do it. Fastball <laughs> just missed. Look at my profile pick in fantasy. I'm gonna have to. What'd you do? What'd you do? I don't see you. Where did you go? I don't see a profile pick for you. I just see the mighty princess. I'm not even surprised. Woo, way out in front of that change up. Good pitch there. Buck Farmer settling in here. It's a little bit late. He's about to throw pitch number 50 here. But uh, Buck is settling in. Oh, great play, John Hicks. Yes. All right. A couple of hits for us through uh, two innings and nothing else. So we're due. Dixon Machado. He is speaking of due. Four hits on the season is due. Jeez. Ready with the O one. Rip to oh my god, right to the shortstop. Throw on a first is in time with Dixon. Even got his pitch and nothing happens. I'm not even surprised. Third inning. Leonis Martin, top of the order come up. Change up inside. One of the only lefties in the lineup today. In fact, Candelario Switch, Cabrera, Castellanos, Hicks, McCann, Reyes, Goodrum, Machado. He is the only true lefty in the lineup today, Leonis Martin. Uh, fastball away. Let's serve, soft serve this to left field. Instead, that ball's ripped to the gap. It's going to go to the wall. Leonis Martin. 74 speed coming around second base. He will get in there with a one out triple. Oh my goodness. Rip that ball. What's up, uh, Panda Waffle? We do play every game, sir. 
Every single one. I'm a little bit behind. I am a little bit behind. We've been playing some games with the boys the last couple days. But uh, we uh, we play every single game. Last year, I didn't really do that well with it. But uh, we are playing every every single game this year. We are not simulating anything. One and out cat on Jaber. All he's got to do is hit something hard. And we can finally get on the board here. Yep, just a little bit behind. Only, uh, only a couple games behind. On the ground. Will score the run. The Royals will seed it. Same thing that we did with their two runs. They get the out, clear the bases. It is two to one. It is 100% a grind, man. Absolutely is. Mid-season, I get absolutely burnt out. It's a good thing they have more built-in days. <clears throat> Excuse me, days off this year. Oh, he tried. He tried to sneak a fastball by Miggy, but he missed. Oh, I dare you to do it again. He won't. He won't. He's going to give me something cheese down. Miggy hit hard. He needed to pull that ball and not hit it out to center. It's still carrying, but out just shy of the warning track. And that'll be the third out. It is two to one. We get a run. All three of these runs have been scored the same way. Guys on base just can see the run, get the out of first base for both teams. I want to do a franchise, but I don't know what my house rules would be. It's uh, <laughs> it's definitely a commitment, man. It's a rough time sometimes. Play one, Sim 5. If I was smart, that's what I would have done to start out. But people have just become accustomed to me playing every game, so I uh, I do it. One way or another this year, I'm going to do it, man. Swing and a miss, Lucas Duda. And we've been playing well so far uh, this early season. Oh, swing and a miss, Duda. Down on strikes. But at the same time, I like having control over every single at-bat. That we uh, that we have over the year, every single one. Quite an interesting outing up to this point as we head into the middle inning. Oh, left that slider up, Jamer. Oh no, Jamer. At least it's only a single, but he tried to barehand that ball, and it hopped over his hand. Make the make a play, regardless. Don't miss it. Oh, he, they went with the hit and run. Jorge Soler slaps that ball the other way. And that was a hit and run. They put Salvador Perez in motion. Don't get scared by your snap. Oh, Lord. What did you put as your profile picture? I will not reveal anything. Ripped down the left field line. Foul. What do we got? What is that even? Swing and a miss. Good change up there for Buck. <laughs> this is the stat of the day from Squid. Apparently, forty thousand, or approximately, uh, pr approximately rather, forty thousand Americans are injured by toilets each year. Oh, my God. Did we dot up three pitches there? Though Jorge Bonifacio would strike him out. Two outs now with the fourth. A clean inning out of Buck Farmer. Two straight would be huge. Pretty similar velocities there on the top speed comparison. 96 on one hand, 95 on the other. And here's Alex Gordon. 
You know, Maddie, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater. Just missed there. Guess your dog's sleeping. It definitely did not look like a dog. All right, two and one on Gordon. We got it. We got to slow this down. Oh, you chased it. He chased it. Left it a little bit elevated. Come on, let's get him here. Let's get Alex Gordon. Ground out. Dixon Machado on a first base. And that'll end the fourth. Let the next time you play with the boys, I'm going to come in, say a fun fact, and then leave. Oh, God, that's going to be fun. Thurs I know for a fact Thursday I'm playing Sea of Thieves with Austin. Well, I don't know for a fact, I suppose. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have chased that. I guess that's what happens when you drink. You make stupid decisions. Why not? Why not, Steph? One on one on Nick. This is Jeff's pick and pick the stick today. Sniped Nick Castellanos here towards the end. We'll get him here. We'll get Duffy. We're hitting him hard. Rip down the line. Foul. See, man, we're so close to getting him. One and two on two pitches that have grazed the zone. Squared up, back up the middle base hit. Leads off the fourth with a single. And Nick Castellanos is on base. Oh, you can? Okay, do it. No, I don't, I don't know. The mods not, might not allow that. I'm pretty sure you are a mod in Discord at this point. You're a mod in the channel. By the way, um, Evo is not here at the moment, but he is due He is due for the, for the mod. I mean, my God, the guy's here every day. I don't even care if he does anything with it. Oh. Ooh. Although, if we're streaming too early, uh, too early into my morning into his day, then just maybe we'll see uh, Caesar Evo. Shot foul, John Hicks. 0 oh, 2, he stays alive. Everything down and in. What do we see here? Off the plate, fastball. I know I have so many mods, but at the same time, he uh, he kind of deserves it, man. He's he, he's here every day. Oh, come on! How do you call that borderline pitch a strike? Get out of here! Hey, Blue! I'll tell you what you need to do: take two weeks off and quit. God damn! What a cheap out. That's not even us giving away outs. That's the umps giving away outs to the Royals. Jesus Christ, you drunk too, Steph? Ah, not my pitch. Not my spot. For every non-porn webpage, there are five porn pages. I believe that. Oh, ripped into the gap. That may score the tying run. Indeed, it will. It's going to be an RBI double. 2-2. Two -two. James McCann has tied it. Battling, man. Rip that ball into the gap. This is a, a small ball game today. And we are battling here. You sober? Well, why? Why? Who cares if it's Monday? Ah, well, in the air. Shallow. Will not be able to uh, tag the runner on that. Here is Nico Goodrum.
Two outs, run around second. The lead is potentially a base hit away. Ah, late. That'll end the inning, but the Tigers have tied the game up here in the fourth inning. We will go to the fifth. Buck Farmer cruising. James McCann with a big RBI double. What does that say about me that here I am on a Monday? Is this what addiction feels like? Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop. First time up, he went down looking. Alcides Escobar leads off the fifth inning. 66 pitches in for Buck Farmer. Should be an easy play for John Hicks, although nothing is easy in MLB the show. Especially for a player that is playing on a position that is not technically his own. Ready for another shot now. But Merrifield here. A hit in two tries for him so far. Oh. Hicks on the move. Oh, Miggy. Nice play there. Or no, not Miggy, rather. <laughs> we literally just talked about this, the fact that that was John Hicks. Literally just talked about it. Yeah, great spot for that fastball, Buck. Uh, yeah, right down the middle. Perfect. I'll tell you what, though. I'm dotting my pitches up with Buck Farmer here. 70 pitches in. Fifth inning may be the extent of what he can do in the right field. Nick chasing. He'll make the play. What did I say? Pretty sure I didn't say it. What? I'm confused. I've said a lot of words tonight. All right, Dixon Machado leads off the fifth. Right back up the middle. Oh, come on. Off the map. Pull Duda off the bag. Machado's safe. Won't be a hit, but Dixon on with an error. Error by Whit Merrifield. You see him? <laughs> oh my, Leonis Martin now. Up and, well, almost away with the fastball there. Martin had a triple his last time up. Ready with the one -oh. Two and a, two and oh? It is. What'd you hear? I'd love to hear this. Ah, I can pitch. I'm looking for something inside that I can pull, and they are not giving it to Leotis. Three fastballs, only one in the zone. Three and one. Ripped. Right field base hit. Leonis Martin stays hot. And he's on base. Two on. Nobody out in the fifth. Well, then say it to me in a snap, goddammit. Do what you got to do. Uh, in the air. That may get down. Center field. Gonna have to tag the runner. 50 speed coming down the line. Safe at third base. Big time tag there. And a big spot for Miggy. Fifth inning. Oh, internet. Oh, internet. How's my stream look, by the way? Because uh, OBS is telling me it is Garbo. 2-0 on Miguel. 
Oh, I got a Snapchat from Steph. Oh, boy. What is happening? No, you got to be kidding me. I popped that up. Why? How? Oh, my God. No. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, not even remotely. Oh, jeez. I want to... Oh, I can't see it. Okay. I wanted to see how I popped that up. Swing timing, good. Contact weak. God, why didn't I get that one, too? Well, a little bit out in front. All right, fair. Fifth inning, 2-2 two, two tie. Runners on the corners, two out. Nick Castellanos. 1-1. One, one. Gotta get this. One one. Here comes the one one. Rip third base side. Mustakis, who has been flawless today, gets the out. And that'll end the fifth. Still tied 2 2. Six hits a side. I got to pee. <laughs> Looks just fine. Alright. I don't know what I don't know what that is with my with my internet lately. Or Lord knows if it's even my internet. It just kinda tells me that my stream is all wonky. Um close game. I don't want Chad Bell. I would like for Hagen. Stumpf would be alright. Jimenez would be alright in this spot. But hopefully I can get this sixth inning out of out of farmer. Then go to Verhagen, then Wilson, then ideally Shane Green. Left field, hit hard down the corner. Running play by Victor Reyes. Now Lucas Duda. How about that, uh, this this start at a Buck Farmer? Pressed into duty because of an injury to Matt Boyd. Empty one man out. 
left up in the zone and foul. That was a fastball. We're in trouble. Haven't shown the curveball much today. Let's show it here. Swing and a miss by Duda. Down he goes two away. Man, he's making it happen. I am back. I am back indeed. Why would you celebrate that? My chair is obviously much more fun to, or much, much, uh, more, yeah, more fun's right, um, to look at than I am, okay? Farmer out of energy, 80 pitches in. Slider, oof. Ripped. Short stop. Goodrum. Throw on the first. Looks good, and it is. Six strong innings out of Buck Farmer. And he'll turn it over to the bullpen. Bottom six, here we come. Here's John Hicks. I'm great to look at. I don't know about that one. <laughs> that sounded wrong. Rip. 73 pitches in. God, that's not a strike. That is not a strike at all. But they gave it to Danny Duffy. Probably his last inning as well. You can get 15 pitches out of him here. We'll make sure it is. Ripped. Center field, that ball is going to get down. Base hit, John Hicks. Lead off single. Double last time up for James McCann. Rip to center. Deep, but not deep enough. What out. Shocker, right? I hit the ball hard and nothing happens because of it. I race. Single in the second. You're due right here. Hammered foul on that changeup. Oh, it was just, it was way too far inside. Looked like, uh, looked like we should have pulled that farther foul than we did. Oh, good pitch. Got us all excited, making he think he was going to, uh, make a mistake with that one. I wouldn't be shocked to see it again, but I'm going to call curve just to cover my bases. Did you know October or Deion Sanders in October 11th, 1992, he played in a football game with the Falcons versus the Dolphins and in the same day played a game uh, uh, for the Braves versus the Pirates, but he didn't, but didn't the field. He is the only guy to play in MLB and NFL game in the same day. Facts, boy. Amen. Deion Sanders, man, what an athlete. Rip to left field. Victor Reyes. And it's gone. Victor Reyes. First major league long ball. And it's a two run shot of the six off Danny Duffy. Yes. <laughs> That's a big time shot there from the rule five pick. Victor Reyes got out in front on it, nearly 400 feet. The feet do don't matter as long as it clears that wall. Victor Reyes, nobody picked him. Into the bullpen and out, and he gets a silent treatment in the dugout as they do. Clutch there from from Victor. Victor Martinez at a lineup. Victor Reyes picks it up. 
And Ned Yost has seen enough out of Danny Duffy. Woo, there we go. Felt like we were just we were just waiting for that big hit. Just waiting. Brian Flynn comes in with an ERA of three and a half. Did you know there is a oh wait? Did you know there is 216 individual stitches in a baseball? I did not. In fact, I did not. Nico Goodrum pulled that ball foul. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Let's see. Four runs on eight hits for the Tigers. Two runs on six hits for the Royals, and none since the second. It'll be Drew Verhagen. In the next inning, so we might as well schedule him to be in the game. One out here in the sixth. We know for a fact we're not going to trot Buck Farmer out there. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Good pitch. Hadn't seen the curveball much today out of Danny Duffy. Didn't even think about it as an option. Two outs for Dixon. Man, that curveball's dirty. It starts at the top of the zone and then just drops to oblivion. It's just gone. Ripped by Dixon. Oh, baby, that was crushed. But off the end of the bat. So tired. Yeah, we're almost done here. We're only going to do one game tonight. Now I'm going to try to be up in the morning. To get myself on a for one to get myself on a regular daytime schedule again, and then two to finally stream in the daytime for you guys. Just uh, three more innings, hopefully. Rip to left field, Dixon Machado, a little bit too high. It'll remain 4-2, to two, but Victor Reyes, first Major League home run, comes in the big spot. Gives us a two-run lead as we head to the seventh. And now it's up to our seemingly good bullpen. Drew Verhagen will come in, who has a 0.79 ERA in seven games this year. It'll be Alex Wilson in the eighth. Shane Green, presumably, in the ninth. And now Jorge Soler leads off the seventh. Chop foul. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Oh, rocket down the right field line. It'll be extra bases for Soler. Not a good way to start for Hagen's night. Two pitches in, and Jorge Soler with a leadoff double. I believe he may have just been laid on it. Hit it. It was lucky enough to hit it down the line, and by the time Nick got to it, he was standing on second. Oh come on! Oh, they held the runner. They held the runner at second base. That's weird. I don't know if they thought that we were gonna we were gonna make a play on that ball, but Jorge Bonifacio out in front pulls it, and the Royals have a mini rally brewing. Alex Gordon now stands in, one of the better hitters on this team. Let's go to the bullpen here. Let's get Chad Bell and shit Jimenez, or do we want to go to Alex Wilson? You know what? Let's just, let's sit him at as let's go to Alex. He can get us two innings if necessary. Shot foul off potentially of James McCann. Six foot 
six and throws from the right side. He was a fourth round selection. All way by Gordon. Player draft of 2012. It's a big spot here. Been handed to this guy drafted in the middle round, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. And oh, good block, McCann. Awful pitch. Awful pitch. We're gonna get him at third base! What a clutch throw for McCann! Gets the lead runner, Solaire, on a wild pitch. Oh, baby. In the air, center field. Leonis Martin. And that runner holds at second base. Big time, big time play right there by James McCann. Behind the plate. I didn't think they were going to send the runner, but I threw a third anyway. And they sent him, and we got him. How do you beat AI stats in, or assuming that's supposed to be AI? It looks like AL, I'm assuming. Uh, stats in Conquest. I don't play a whole lot of Conquest, man, so I'm not the right person to ask on that one. We play a lot of franchise. We play a lot of road of the show. Not a ton of conquest. In fact, we haven't even touched conquest. This <laughs> haven't touched conquest this year. Jordan is a great streamer. <laughs> Steph with the uh, with the joke. A three a.m. joke. In the air, Onyx got a long way to run. Oh, my God. How close was that? Nick Castellanos with a catch out in right field. Janky animation, but the inning is over. And Leonis Martin, all of a sudden, it has a triple and a single in this game. Little bizarre. Shot foul by Lunas. One on one count. So one one home. Oh, he went with a curve. That ball was still going up when I was swinging at it. When I started my swing. God damn. Um, I might see the curve ball down. I think I held up. Yep. Curve ball. Curve ball down. Off the plate. Three and two count. Leonis Martin. Oh, where does he go here? Chopped foul. Leonis stays alive. Where were these at bats before from Leonis? We used to be terrible with him. Skate a moosh, skate a moosh. Let's do the fandango. Well, I know what you were trying to say, but t uh, TTS did not exactly say it right. <laughs> uh, Steph's weekly bit total up to 15. The one and only so far. Rip foul by Lunas. Are we going to have a 21 pitch at bat like Brandon Belt? That was number eight right there. What with the slider? Missed with it. Shot foul again. Oh, man. We will see ten pitches this at bat. At least. Rip third base or first base line. Wait, what? No. It hit. That looked foul to me. I want a, I want a second opinion. Mm, no, 
Oh, they caught the chalk. All right. Just wanted to be sure. Jammer now. Just to uh, be sure. We do have Alex Wilson ready. Chad Bell can sit. Ready and waiting. Scheduled to put in game. Alex Wilson. 1-0. How slow is that curve? 73, 74 miles an hour. Is that good? Yes. Since Austin's not here to answer that question, yes. It's good. Really, really good. Two and one. Jammer pops it up way out in front. Salvador Perez discards the mass. Two out seventh. Now Miguel. One for three. Had a single all the way back in the first inning with two outs. Let's see where this pitcher goes. Fastball elevated 91. Miguel can't touch it. You gotta go off speed, you bitch. Hit hard. Center field still going back. Orlando to make the play. We will go to the eighth top of the Kansas City order coming up. Sure. Bring Alex Wilson in. Merrifield stands in. Slider does miss from Alex Wilson. Should have been smarter there. Should have thrown a straight fastball. Come on. 2-0. Oh. Let's know. No, no, no. No, no. We're not falling behind here. Shot foul. 15 more biddies for Steph. Can she beat her uh, her weekly total of a week ago that was like, uh, God, 100, 160, 190 something? Shot foul there. Three and two count on Whit Merrifield. Slider, and he took it. Down he goes. The always useless starter comparison. Telling me stats, height, weight, age, here's pro. Because that does a lot of good when both pitchers are out of the game. On the ground, third base side, Jamer sets his feet, fires. John Hicks happened. Well, we'll see if that goes in error, and it does. Oh, did you really? Oh, with the uh, with the biddies. Thank you, thank you, Steph. Uh, Streamlabs really needs to implement something where I can I can get that alert off my off my screen, man. That's so. People just gotta people just gotta uh, take advantage of that. Oh, he stole a base. Rip. Did they show that stat every eighth inning? I'm pr I'm convinced at this point. Yes. Shot foul. Slider down and in. Let's make a good pitch, Wilson. Down the line. Jamer has it played perfectly. On the first, John Hicks a good play. It's been a tale of two halves so far. Royals start of the game hot. Tigers, then two runs in the third and fourth. The two-run home run by Victor Reyes got us the lead. Slider will find this. I, I didn't like seeing it either, but at the same time, until people uh, until people do anything, it's not. I can't really get away with. Like, there's a skip alert button, and I can't like the, I can't even do anything with it. 
Oh, what a slider by Alex Wilson. He's pumped up. Duda down on strikes. Bottom in. Here we come. 4-2 lead. Yes. Seth Manis comes into the game for the Royals. Been a pretty good reliever at this point, but struggles against lefties. Unfortunately, we only have one in our lineup. Green is not warming up. I'm glad you said something because I was going to remember anyway, but at the very start of the inning, Lord knows. Oh, Nick. Ah, little low. So Shane Green will be... Handling the ninth. Looking for another save. Squared up. Nick Cassianos back up the middle. Well, good to see. Good to see he's getting hits again. Here's John Hicks. A hit here would be nice to uh, get rid of the. Oh, it's down the line, fair ball. To get rid of the error, that'll be a double for Hicks. Nick will stop at third. Tigers in business in the eighth. Will we need Shane Green? Now it's McCann for backup. I will get Daniel Stumpf up. Inside change up. McCann will watch it. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little, so we'll see how he deals with it. Swing and a miss for strike one. The offensive approach here is simple. You know the pitcher's going for the K, so set the middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infield. They're so close, hard contact is a guarantee for the Squared up, back up the middle. We're going to hold that runner a third. Just in case. Probably could have scored him. But it's a 5-2 game. Seth Manus struggling here at the bottom of the eighth. Square that ball up, did McCann. And now, Victor Reyes, who had the biggest hit of this ball game, a two-run home run that gave us the lead. How about five unanswered runs for the Tigers? Serve the left field. That's a base hit. It is a 6-2 lead. Woo! Oh, Evo. Oh, Evo, welcome in. Green can sit down now. I'm not going to sit him down just in case Stump struggles. Six two. Because if Stump allows like a leadoff home run, you know I'm putting Shane Green in that in, in that bitch. Let's go. Nico Goodrum, that'll be a double play. Gives you going up. Receives hug from Steph. Oh, it's beautiful. Dixon Machado, can he extend the lead? Didn't go. Check the swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Six unanswered runs. One one. Swinging a ball hit around. But this will get fouled. Well, we had to do something dumb today, didn't we? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> amen, amen, Austin. <laughs> that low. It is three, three twenty a.m. here in the states, and I am about to go to bed. I promise you guys, I am streaming early tomorrow. Machado strikes out, and that will end the inning. But a four-run lead. Here we go. Alex Wilson, we could keep Alex in the game, but I'm going to use Daniel Stump just to uh, to ease the load on Alex. He gets into trouble, allows a base runner, Shane Green. Can, uh, can come in. What time do I, ha do, what time do I have to get up? Um, technically... 2 p.m. But I'm going to be up at about uh, I'm going to be up about 8 a.m. for y'all. I really am. God damn. I I, uh, I was really tired yesterday. And uh, couldn't I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't stay up. I was awake for a little bit. I tried. And uh, I was just really tired. Work schedule combined with streaming schedule have just uh, uh, completely, completely messed me up this week. Wow. Okay. Well, um... The built-in walk to Jorge Soler. I'll let Stump have one more, one more mistake. One more mistake, and that is all. Oh my God! Didn't I lose to you, Evo, in fantasy? Potential double play to end it on the second throw it into left or thrown into right rather. No, Jamer. Oh my god, why have they made him so bad? These throwing errors are becoming a thing a regular thing for Jamer. Well, I didn't think I was gonna have to do this, but uh Wow. Gordon and these guys here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do. Shane Green will come out of this game, unfortunately. Here's Alex Gordon. Pitch did just miss. What's up, <laughs> Optic Logan Paul? Interesting. And uh, oh come on! Base is loaded, one out. Oh my! Oh my! The struggle. Base is loaded for Alcides Escobar. This is the tying run. In the air. Sacrifice that run does not mean a thing. Two outs in the ninth. And now the tying run is the batter. Well, uh, well, Optic Logan Paul, we're just trying not to uh, try not to blow a game here. I knew that run. I knew that run in the... Uh, those two runs in the eighth inning. We're going to come back to bite us. I trust I trust Shane Green a whole lot more than I trust Daniel Stumpf. Whit Merrifield. Down the line. Oh, they're going to count it. 
That counts as the S. It didn't hit the ground. It's a catch by Jamer Candelario. And that will end the game. It is a 6-3 win against the Royals in game two of three. We will play two games tomorrow morning. Mark my words. Whatever happened to Slim Grady? Not everyone shows up for every stream. I understand it. That's all right. Shane Green comes in, gets the job done. I would imagine he gets his 10th save of the season. He does. Trading at Michael Conforto. Unfortunately, I have set ground rules to where I, uh, I keep the real-life Tigers roster. But for a rebuild, we have the Atlanta Braves. We do. We are rebuilding the Atlanta Braves currently.